Hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing fantastic and that you're all having a great day. As always, comments, likes, multiple comments or subscriptions are always very much appreciated as they do help out the channel immensely. And without further ado, Let's jump right into it for those of you not looking at the screen. It says Bitcoin and Ethereum consolidate near key support. This one says Ethereum rejects $2,000, a retest of $1,800 imminent. I think you can kind of see where this is going. It says Ethereum reaches key uptrend support. It appears as though for the last day and a half, so we were getting news before that the market was going up, got it. There were a number of analysts who believed that we were going up too fast and said that we needed to slow down a little bit, at least for a couple of days and kind of consolidate to see if we would be able to bounce off of prices or move back up or not fall below certain trend lines. And part of the price news for today is that we've reached a lot of the, the is not, where's not barriers, like bottom prices. We keep bouncing off of these numbers. We haven't gone down as much as one would have expected after the movements upward that we have received. And therefore, it looks like we are potentially on the cusp of a major movement upward. It says Bitcoin price trades a little over $24,000. Can it target 27,000 US dollars? I believe after reading around, the most common number that I saw was not 27,000. It was 28,000 to confirm a trend reversal. We go above 28,000, we close, i.e. we are in that number for around 24 hours during the close of the day, if you will. And therefore we are back in a hyper bullish, mega, super, ultra crazy trend ethereum has more than doubled in price we were at an 800 dollars ether and then we were at 1100 1200 we got to 1900 and something or other dollars bitcoin i think it fell to 18,000. so bitcoin has not moved as much as ethereum during the exact same time period a lot of analysts of course believe in bitcoin and they think that bitcoin can actually do something but i think a large portion of the limelight will be resting upon ethereum at least for the next literal month or so. Also, very heavily in the news, it says Ethereum hits a new milestone. Investors accumulate ahead of merge. We've been getting this news for the past couple of weeks. This isn't anything new particularly. It's just more of a, uh, the merge has been all but, air quotes confirmed, it's supposed to be on the 15th of September. This happens every single time for any coin, any upgrade, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, people hear a date, they begin to accumulate. And as we get closer to said date, we get more and more metrics saying how many more people are buying that coin. Of course, this is a relatively different upgrade than some of the other ones uh, any other coin has really had before, as this one has a lot more uh energy behind it because it has taken years and everyone's kind of expecting something phenomenally fantastic to also happen as well so of course people are continuing to accumulate we've had news for the past couple of weeks that also banks and institutions and hedge funds are also buying tons of it the long positions on ethereum are also skyrocketing right now i think we just hit a new all-time high for ethereum longs uh for futures as well so things are looking up also in the news, and I'm once again pretty sure you saw this one coming. It says stock futures gain or stock futures are slightly down after notching gains on Monday. Uh, this is apparently within the stock market earnings week. And as was last week and I think the week before, and then we have corporate earnings and then we have this earnings and then we have is, is inflation something. So it's always a new topic every single week. Uh, the story this week is looking for earnings reports from companies to see if they're doing as well as they posted that they would be doing or how low or how high that they thought that they would be doing based off of the numbers from everything being completely crazy over the last two years. Uh, stocks went up a tiny bit yesterday, as did the cryptocurrency market, and then stocks began to fall. Some of them are currently in like the light red. Stock futures are currently in the light red, as our market is also in the, say it with me, Right, the light red. So I think Bitcoin is down by half of a percent. I think Ethereum's down by one or two percent. 
if the stock market goes down by one or two percent crypto usually falls a little bit more as we do not have as much liquidity as they have they have trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and i think we i think we are above a trillion again i'm not sure exactly uh where we currently are there's a lot of optimism once again still in the uh stock market that prices are going to go higher we're getting uh, first of all we got this last year we're getting whispers uh, that the recession might be in 2023. But once again, if you remember the end of last year, what whispers were we hearing that the crazy recession was going to be happening sometime this year as well? Uh, the news on data out of China, once again, for those of you who were not here yesterday, basically has to do with the fact that people are a little unhappy and their economic data isn't looking as strong as it previously was before. We saw that a couple of year, more than a couple of European countries have inflation that is currently over 5%, ranging anywhere from, I believe, 8 to 11%. There's still very strong inflation in about 30 other countries across the planet. Uh, this news also over here, if you get a chance to look at the screen, number two right there, uh, that's also still trouble constantly brewing because these people do not know how not to be um, the letter A and then also the word whole. Uh, so, yeah, that's currently all the price news that we have right now. There wasn't a significant... Oh, clicked on the wrong one. There, there wasn't a significant amount of cryptocurrency price news because prices haven't really moved. Uh, you'll typically see in the news if prices fall by 5%. It's kind of a woe is us. Oh my gosh, can we recover? There was so much like, uh, are we near a bear market? Are we near a so-and-so bearish trend for Bitcoin? And it's like... I just think these people don't look at any other markets and maybe they simply assume that cryptocurrencies aren't correlated to everything else happening. But uh, I am no longer one of those people because the numbers are far too... There was even a chart that someone posted. I don't know what that chart is. Someone posted a chart on Twitter the other day showing the movements of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and also the movements of Bitcoin. And it's like, whoa, they're basically the same exact person at this point. So yeah, we'll see exactly what ends up happening. It is... Tuesday. For some reason, I, and, and, and I kid you not, yesterday, I took like a little nap. It was the weirdest thing in the entire world, but it was one of those naps where like you wake up and like you feel like it's like a different month. I don't know how to explain it. And I was like, so tomorrow's Friday, right? And everyone was looking at me like Tuesday. And I was like, no, but it's, 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 it's Thursday. And they were like, no, it's not. And I don't know how I went from Monday to Thursday over the course of like a 25 minute nap but alas here we are so it's only tuesday uh, earnings reports are going to be for the rest of the week i assume by wednesday thursday we'll see if we're out of the woods inside the woods red riding hood something along those lines uh yeah that's all the price news at least for right now uh stock futures are slightly in the red we'll see exactly when the stock markets open up exactly how the rest of the world is doing and yeah let's move on in, there we go, very popular news today. On Monday, Brazilian financial services giant XP Inc. announced that it had opened its crypto trading platform called Xtage, or Xtag. It is the letters X-T-A-G-E. I would say Xtage. I don't, I don't, okay. To its clients, according to a press release issued by XP on the 12th of May. Whoa, that's like nine years ago. Xtage, which is built on Nasdaq's trading technology, represents a key milestone in democratizing access to the digital assets market in Brazil and is uniquely positioned to flexibly scale as it grows and introduces new products and services. It went on to mention that the platform was expected to be operational by the end of the second quarter of this year. So that is, what is that, October? I think so. Roland Che, or Chai, Executive Vice President and Head of Market Infrastructure Technology at NASDAQ had this to say, We are pleased to partner with XP as they advance on their digital asset strategy. The technology partnership between NASDAQ, market technology, and XP is a foundational pillar, geez, these so, so superfluous, pillar in their expansion into digital assets and will be open and will open up new opportunities for investors, I'm sure. So, the, the news is... Um, quite popular really uh there's also like you'll see a, a string of events that make me once again believe that everything is just kind of tied together and people are simply doing things at the exact same time 
There's also, I, I, I can't remember the name of the YouTube video. I'm, if, if it interests you, I'm sure you can find it. It was someone who made a video about like why similar movies come out at the exact same time. Like if that movie over there has a guy who was bitten by a spider comes out. There's like another movie that ends up coming out about another character or like a movie that's like just about spiders. Or like when I think Cars 2 or Cars 3 or whatever came out, there was another movie, the same exact, I, I think it was Transformers. It's really weird. Like there's always this really odd, I don't know if it's a coincidence, I doubt it. But like the, the similar things end up happening at the exact same time. Anyway, um, this is awesome, but also kind of predictable in that uh, we've seen tons of other financial firms and hedge funds also uh, getting into the cryptocurrency space. Uh, Brazil has been the forefront doesn't even begin to describe what's happening in Brazil when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Uh, I myself am not in Brazil. If you happen to be there, do you see any difference? Like, are you walking around? Do you see everyone like with a little like B symbol on their stores? Can you pay in Bitcoin nearly everywhere? Because the news that we've been getting from Brazil, at least this year, uh, mold, uh, cities trying to like, we, you know, we know this for a fact. Cities accumulating Bitcoin, Bitcoin being accepted everywhere, all these different cryptocurrency trading services, all these cryptocurrency exchanges launching. Like it's constantly over and over. I think they also just recently got their, uh, what do you call it? Mm, like proper cryptocurrency regulations and banks can use them and hedge funds and you can accumulate this. And I think they also have several um, physical ETFs as well. So, you know, the news is great for adoption. I, I do still think it's a little weird that we live in this space where people don't realize that they can deal in cryptocurrencies and or buy them themselves. And they need to get news that a co company or corporation somewhere within their borders that they can you know buy Bitcoin or crypto from them when they could simply have done that before and traded it themselves or moved it across. You understand what I'm saying? It's always a little weird, but I mean adoption. <clears throat> we went over that years ago. The idea of self-custody, I think for a lot of people, still seems extremely abstract because we've been conditioned our entire lives to believe that we have to walk up to a building and ask them permission to hold our own money and then pay them money for it every single month. It's all a bit odd. Anyway, so yeah, this was very popular news. I believe, is this also the same as that? Nope, not even the same exact tab. So yeah, um, that's the adoption news. There's a lot more you're gonna see in the next couple of minutes because that's just how the news is now. And yeah. Let's move on. In news that people will not care about, no matter how significant it actually is, no one's going to care about this. During the ETH LATAM, I assume that's Latin American Conference on Thursday, the Secretary of Innovation and Digital Transformation of Buenos Aires, his name is Diego Fernandez, Announced plans to set up Ethereum validator nodes within the country in 2023. I'm going to repeat that one more time because I know about 15 of you actually heard me and or care. Buenos Aires is going to have their own Ethereum validator nodes. Buenos Aires is going to be validating Ethereum transactions in 2023. There's going to be another country on the planet who is going, I can't say that term, uh... Nope, can't say that one either. Uh, they're going to be d diving to the deep end of the pool. There we go. That's a really good one uh, when it comes to crypto. In addition, he also shared the innovation and the regulatory purpose of this effort as well. Many moons ago, and I mean like 18,000 years ago in the, in the year of 2016, if anyone had ever mentioned... And I keep saying this over and over because I know only a handful of people actually get it. Looking around the cryptocurrency space, it's like 15% of the of the of the community actually understands what cryptocurrencies are. And I mean like really understands it for what they are. They understand what inflation is, they understand why we need to get away from inflation, the 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 loss of power that we have. Uh, not only when it comes to economic sovereignty, which the, the, the term I don't ex exclusively care for, but also being able to do with your money. You know, in the 1970s and 1980s, there was no real question as to, you know, you had money in your hand, you bought whatever you wanted. So the fact that, like, it's almost weird that you would buy a new television for $1,200 in cash, like, you know, that should not be a, a, a really weird thing. Bringing it on back. 
years ago, and for, for clarity, the other 85% is kind of just like money hungry. I get it. I totally understand. We live in a world where I, I told my other friends before, you either are part of the system or you're broke. There's no real in between. You either are constantly striving to make more money to make sure that you're not broke or you stop walking and then you are broke. That's kind of just how the world actually is working right now. Many years ago, um, it was nothing that th this space was nothing but speculation. I'm sh you heard it before you got into the market. You heard it on TV, whether it was a rich person talking about how terrible the cryptocurrency space was, or it was always like, well, these things are just speculation, John. No, no one's actually using them. This was the entire mantra of uh, outside the space. We knew inside of crypto that people were actually using cryptocurrencies, but outside it was always the same really weird, like, you know, no one's actually using, no one's actually blah, 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 blah. And then we started getting whispers of countries actually using cryptocurrencies. Even we had news <laughs> a couple of days ago, we know for a fact that, uh, that Iran uh, actually paid for imports exclusively in cryptocurrencies. Like it's no longer a, is this going to happen? When I tell and I and I keep meeting new people, whether it be through happenstance or simply a friend has a friend visiting, and we end up having dinner together, whatever, you know, whatever the case might actually be, uh, people find out what I do at some point, and they always ask me. I mean, the same questions over and over: Why Bitcoin? What's Bitcoin? Can Bitcoin do this? What's the point of Bitcoin? Is it? I heard about Ethereum. What is and they always ask these same questions. But the, the, one of the main questions that they usually ask is, well. What w w will these things be around in in five to ten years? And I and I have to tell them and with their I can hear the skepticism in their voice. They don't believe it. They're not even in the space. Like it's like me. I, I've tried for years telling friends. Years. My gosh. Since around 2013, 2014, when I really got into investing, telling friends and family members, you should start investing. What's the point? Why? I mean, I, I don't know anybody else who invests. Like, what's the point of putting my money into these markets if it's not going to go anywhere? It was always the same hub. I mean, over and over and over. It was so absolutely frustrating. So kind of dealing with the the 3.0 of that right now, even for people, friends I know who are not in the cryptocurrency space who ask me, well, well what's this? Well, we already have dollars. We we already have euros. Like, why? Well, I heard it's only for criminals. What's the point of doing this? Well, isn't isn't it mainly for money laundering? It's this really weird, stupid, like 2016 speech that I'm tired of hearing from people, and then like also having to like be the air quotes professional to have to tell them all these things. Once again, reeling it back in. The idea of a country accepting crypto years ago was a pipe dream, a feather dream. It was somewhere in the air above the clouds. It just did, you know, not, it doesn't exist. Not, not a thing. The amount of adoption that we see now, and I, and I use the word staggering quite often, and I don't think people really understand what that word means. When I say that we have, crypto's here for life. This, like, this is it. We are in the throes of this new uh, payment method system way of making whatever. It's here with us for life now. Our kids, kids, kids will also be using either the same exact coins or a very similar system. Either way, the cat's out of the box, the cat's out of the bag, back is out of the hat, whatever you need to tell yourself. The fact that like this was, I think I found this on two websites. And this one was written a, a little bit better than the other one. When we get news that, I think the last two days, Peter Schiff has really been in the news. Some of you might have seen me rant on, on Twitter uh, talking about it. I'm tired of hearing from people who are not within our space that crypto is garbage. No one's adopting it. No one's using it. And these people get such huge platforms. They, they, everyone mimics and screams out that this person said that, whether they believe them or not. And I tried calling out a couple of people in, in the nicest way possible. Listen, we all live different lives. But I think so many people say these things and rewrite these articles or re-talk about these things on their channel because they're trying to drop cryptocurrency prices. I don't know why they would be doing that or what their methodology is, or maybe they're just trying to buy it at, an early, at a lower price. Maybe they're trying to get more clicks. I'm really not sure exactly what it is. The fact that we had news multiple times that there are at least 15 countries who are actively using cryptocurrencies 
one that we know for certain who told us explicitly we didn't we didn't need news through the grapevine that they're doing so multiple countries who are, have adopted and are going to be adopting bitcoin as legal tender and then having Buenos Aires actually announcing that they're going to have validator nodes for Ethereum within their country. They, they, and if you want to go through the rest of the article, the, basically they're saying that they're doing it because they want to understand Ethereum more. They understand that it's the future. It's going to be around basically forever. So they want to be one of the countries who's also validating transactions on it as well. This is also increasing the amount of nodes and decentralization on the network. If we can have every country on the planet to run 10, 15 different nodes... That's thousands of extra nodes that we would have floating around the world. But, you know, that part for, you know, I, I, I digress, if you will. Why wasn't this the most popular news story of the day? Why wasn't the other news the other day the most popular news story of the day? Why is it constantly rich person said X? This is the, like, how, how are people so obsessed with wealthy people that you take everything that they say for gospel. It doesn't. And then, and then when we actually have real news, what did what did Elon Musk do the other day? I think he he tweeted out like a, a dog icon. And then the news for the next six hours. I'm not joking. The news for the next six hours was why didn't Dogecoin pump? If your coin is pumping because this man has tweeted, he moved his fingers across a glass screen that he was holding in his hands. That's what causes your price to pump and your coin is garbage. It doesn't make any sense. There's no logic anywhere in this space anymore. And, and it's so sad because the very few people who do understand what cryptocurrencies are and what they're for and i dare even say this this gigantic revolution that we happening in and have happening in front of us everyone else doesn't care doesn't pay attention the fact that you know for a fact now that there are countries around the world who are actively using cryptocurrencies at the you know uh while the u.s is telling them on the side no stop it you can't do that this is crazy what's happening the fact that this is happening more and more every single day, even getting news and, you know, talking about rich people, hearing these rich people say that they've bought tons of crypto, that they're actively using crypto. They're buying tons of crypto and locking it away. They never plan on using it. They're buying tons of Ethereum to be able to have all this other stuff in the future with Ethereum 2.0 and the merge and all this. Other. It, it, it doesn't. I'm not computing anymore. Like my, my brain is constantly fried all the time. And I and I tell my friends this, and I, well, you know, fine, sure. Me and you are all friends as well, so I'll tell you as well. It makes me so agitated. I'm sure you've noticed in many different videos, constantly hearing this like incredibly great news, and it comes down to people being like, "Well, the bears are back in the market. Can the bulls do this? Oh no, it's a bearish day." It's like, what are you talking about? You don't under. This is going to take over the entirety of the world. I don't think I have the article. No, I, I, I think I didn't include it because it, it was frustrating me. There was just a new thing. I think it's from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund and also some other. Um, what is it? The world something. I don't know. Some, some three to five letter thing who apparently they've been having conversations with what they call developing countries telling them not to accept or to adopt crypto because a lot of them have been on the path to do so uh, by scaring them and telling them that, you know, if you do this, there's going to be economic instability. You won't get help from the International Monetary Fund anymore. You won't get the economic backing or funding that you were previously getting because you're taking on a new... It's, it's like they're trying to... Even even the idea that... And I, was, and I was telling someone before recently who was asking me the question, like, what's the point of crypto? And I was trying to lightly explain to them the idea of the gold standard and how we no longer have... Like, money's based off of nothing. Like, explicitly. Not in a, you know... Uh, you know, fist in the air kind of way. It's it's literally like, you know, before it used to be, example, a bank has a thousand bars of gold. Got it. They are able to only print the amount of money based on the amount of gold that they have, period. That's that's what the economic policy was. So I was explaining to them uh, the idea of Bitcoin as an actual monetary base or monetary policy. We are on a Bitcoin standard. What does a Bitcoin standard mean? Our country currently owns 50,000 Bitcoin. You know, rounded number. 
there are a hundred million Satoshis in every single Bitcoin. Therefore, we can uh, create 100 million pieces of paper currency for our country based off of every Bitcoin that we have. And they were like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, because, because, but, but Bitcoin's a number on a screen, but Bitcoin, and I'm like, how don't, like, I think people don't want to understand. I think no matter how much you tell them, how much information you give them. Years ago, I remember telling when I, I I went over some of this with all of you before. I think on the other channel, maybe even on this channel years ago, and I, I remember figuring out that you could get into and buy art, and it wasn't expensive. Like you only hear on the news because it is meant as a way to restrict you from wanting to enter into the market. The idea of these people buying three, four, five million dollar paintings, you hear sold, 900 bajillion dollars in like, I, I'm never going to own one of those pieces. And you realize that you can own pieces from those artists. It's not the painting, but it may be a print. It may be a sculpture. It may be a statue. It may be ceramics, whatever the case might be. You can get into those markets for $45, $155. If you have the money, two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, you can own an actual an actual Banksy. And I remember telling my friends and family this. I was like, listen, we can get into the art market. We can have huge, I mean, you, you can have huge collections by, 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 by this time. Nah, that sounds, but who's, who's buying it? Be, be, these people would go on, I, I would be with them. They would go onto the websites and see that there was a piece available, but it hadn't sold. Well, why is that piece there? Why didn't anyone buy it? You need it to be sold out for you to really understand what's going on, you have to make sure that you have no access to something before before it seems you know, beautiful and 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 you know unobtainable. I have to have it then. There's a meme that's constantly going around, and I, and I retweet it every single time because it's so funny. It's the one of the, uh, the these two little stick figures, and one is like, "Hey, Bitcoin's at ten dollars. You should buy you, you should buy something." And, and the other one goes. Nah, Bitcoin's at $1,000, you should buy some. Nah, Bitcoin's at 10000 you should buy some. Nah, and it shows Bitcoin at 70000 And then the other one goes, I want all the Bitcoin. Why do things have to be expensive or out of your reach for you to think? Even, oh my gosh, yesterday. Perfect example. I don't understand why this desire to be negative is so strong in so many people. I posted a video yesterday of me, uh, as they call it, sweeping floors on this NFT app that I'm on. And I, and I kid you not, when prices were high on the app, people lost their minds. There were certain things being sold for like eighty five thousand. Like people were people lost it. Prices have fallen the same as every other market. Don't even give you where NFTs have fallen. No, every single mo we are talking about the, the the collapse of the potential Chinese economy right now. Everything has collapsed. I was. The, the 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 video was me purely just buying everything that I knew was completely undervalued. People were like, why are you buying garbage? First of all, I've been collecting comics since I was nine years old. I know everything about these comics inside and out. I can literally tell you everything about every single character and exactly how much these comics books are worth in the real world. Everything I purchased yesterday, not financial advice, is worth thousands in the real world. I know exactly what I'm buying. But the amount of people who were like, why are you buying that? What's the point of so-and-so? Dude, Somebody wrote, these comics are so cheap and they're garbage. Why are you buying them? Because they're, because they're cheap. Because I know, I know, you, you, can, you can stand in your own corner. When we do once again have a 55, 62, $79,000 Bitcoin, every other market is going to be pumping at the exact same time within our space. We are going to have a cryptocurrency bull run and it's going to also be NFTs. I was telling my friends, before, not, not only for the actual liquidity of the NFT space and how easy that it is to buy and sell things rapidly without having to package anything, but just the idea that even the garbage comics on the app, last bull run, these things were also $2, $2.45. And I saw so many of the garbage comics go from $2 to like $35, $40. That's a gigantic return on a garbage comic. Amazing Spider-Man number one on, on that app went, it was $4. The same exact way you see all these super cheap, crazy prices. When I entered the app, it was four. I, listen, if you're on Vivi and like, you know how like you, you, uh, you hover over something, you click it and it says like buy, like, and you know, when, when the drop actually happens, me and my friends, I'm not joking. Two of my friends, hello friends. We sat there 
buying the comics slowly because we didn't understand that we could like buy you know quicker on the actual app like we were waiting for the little green truck to appear like hey you got this number we're like cool oh we can buy some more and we, we we managed to buy i think 11 each on the drop not completely understanding after that people were throwing them onto the market they were four dollars one two three four not 40 they were four during the actual board and, and that's and that makes me sad because the ultra rares were also like 32 dollars during the actual bull run that we had, the commons went up to I think was it two or three hundred dollars. The ultra rares were five, six, seven thousand dollars. The secret rare, which I wish I had also also purchased, was ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty thousand. Like actually, I think I think thirty, forty thousand dollars. You you buy when the market's low. How don't people get that? You see the adoption on the screen. You see that these countries are adopting these coins. You know that they're actively doing it. You know that we're actively getting regulations around the world. You see the hedge funds. You see the ETFs that we have. Is it simply because all these things have not launched within America? Because you didn't hear that the U.S. government is having a an, a, an Ethereum validator note, which they currently also do have for those of you who are completely confused about that. There were there, there, there were news stories years ago that, that America actually owned Bitcoin and people were like, no, that's a lie. No, because in 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 16, the US government for some reason was like finding all these people who they said were doing things that had to do with money laundering and they were taking the Bitcoin from them and the US still owns this Bitcoin. They sold off a portion of it, I think to Mike Novogratz years ago, but they still, the, the US government owns and holds Bitcoin that they stole from other people who they said were doing illicit activities, but they hold it. So odd, so completely odd. And the crazy, I just threw my pen down. The craziest part is so few people who even in, in the cryptocurrency space, you are getting this news. You, are, you see the news that we get every single day. You're part of it. You're not not part of it. You know this news. You, you, you can't fake ignorance in two, three, four or five years. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. How many countries have an Ethereum node? Wait, who just bought Bitcoin? You can't fake ignorance. When we get to a $7,000, a $10,000, a $15,000 Ethereum, and you sit there confused as, as to how, I'd, there's no one else to blame. I don't get it. I do not understand. Is it, is it fear? Is it fear that you may buy at a at a slight loss? I was I was chatting with someone about uh, buying things on Vivi. I have like a lot of like investor conversations when it comes to Vivi because of all the partnerships and like the actual uh, licenses that they do own. So it's not just some random hubbub that's been kind of being thrown out there. And I was informing a friend, not financial advice, and I was telling her I was like, listen, you need because she 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 she, she, she wow. She's also slightly into comics, and I was telling her, like, start buying these things at this price. And she's like, well, it's it's $3.50. Like, 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 what if it falls down to two eighty? And I was like, do you care? Is is that $0.70, $0.80 cents different, that dramatic to you for something that you're buying for $3 that will go up to $180? Like, what's the, what's the problem? It's like before. Like, even when, when, um, when Bitcoin and, and Ethereum were falling a year and a half or whatever, some change ago. And I was telling my friends, I was like, dude, like buy right now. Like Ethereum's basically, I think Ethereum, didn't it fall down to $80? Wasn't it something like nonsensibly, like it was? It made no sense how low the market was. Even Bitcoin was below $5,000. I, I was like, dude, now, 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 now. What, what if it falls a little bit more? What if it doesn't? What if it starts going back up? What if you never own any? What if these coins do take off, which they're going to, by the way? I, I don't know if you've, you've gotten the trend of this video or the sentiment of it. This isn't random news. Buenos Aires is not the first place on, on, the, on this planet doing something like this. We've heard this multiple, 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 multiple times. All the time. And these are the countries who say this out in the open. We had news for three years that there were 15 to 20 different countries who were trading crypto amongst themselves. And now we're getting news that that was actually a thing. What, what more do you need to cause you to actually get into the market. Like what explicitly do you need to really understand that this is the future? How can you be a part of this project, this network, this community, this space, and hear this news from my channel every single day? I'm not even a hype channel. I don't understand. Some, some of the channels out there are wild. Wow, I've been watching some stuff that was sent to me. I tell you.
Anyway, I didn't mean to go on a rant. It's really funny. I knew that I was going to rant today, but I, I didn't know why or for what. I felt it in the air. It was just, it was just something that was there. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't understand. Like even the news, uh, it was a year, and also some change ago. While prices were dropping before they went back up, we had news um, about like <laughs> how few Bitcoin there were on exchanges. Remember that? Remember all the all the all the banks and institutions buying up all the Bitcoin and taking them off of the exchanges and the same exact thing with Ethereum and pre-locking them up and how, how few Ethereum there actually were and the coin burn that was happening. Everyone's like, I think I'm going to wait a bit. The amount of comments I saw on here and on Twitter. Now, nah, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to wait till prices drop. My friend told me that. Why? 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 You can't time the bottom. You can't time the top. No one can. If we all could, we'd be all kajillionaires at this point. We would have known, okay, guys, Bitcoin's at 69,420 cash out right now. We we would have all we would have all known. We would have all known that 3,000 in, in 2020 was also the bottom for Bitcoin. Everyone buy right now. I don't get it. Adoption's only going to continue. This this isn't going to be a a a slow down thing. Uh, some of the other news was about regular. I'm, I'm too exhausted now. Some of the other news was about regulation and a lot of other countries like have like proper framework for cryptocurrencies and now that you can do this and you can do that and so and so. Every other country continues to move along and there's a very small fraction of people who are understanding all of this, like really, really getting it, really understanding where this space is going. And the worst part is the people, and I'm going to say the 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 d word the people who deserve it the most is you the people who've been in the space for four five six seven years you deserve to be rich from this market you are one of the earliest adopters we haven't we we haven't even gotten to a billion people on the planet who are using crypto you deserve to get rich from this market and people keep sitting on the sidelines and it's driving me absolutely insane but eventually, the saddest part is a huge fraction of people who are in the space are going to realize one day it's it's all these shoulda, woulda, couldas. It's me sitting there looking at Amazing Spider-Man number one for four dollars and being like, I think I'm fine with 11 of them. 11 seems like a re I should have emptied my bank account if I had put four not financial advice. I thought about this before. If I had put $4,000 into those comics, just Amazing Spider-Man number one common, by the actual bull run up, I could have sold those even like on a, a, a trending down scale because I was flooding the market if I could have. I would have made anywhere between one hundred dollars to $250,000 from $4,000. That These are also the same movements of the cryptocurrency space. That's, that's nothing new. That's nothing, you know. That's how crypto also works. And just about getting into it. Oh, for those of you who are confused, I'm buying crypto all the time. Like there's no there's no stopping. People sometimes ask if, if I'm buying when markets are down and markets are up. I don't know if you would call it dollar cost averaging. I, I call it once a week uh, FOMO. I've got to buy some because I refuse to be left behind. Years ago, years and years and years ago, there were so many coins that kept on popping up. Dogecoin, Ethereum, even when Litecoin popped up, everyone was like, it's garbage. Don't buy that. These things were one cent, 15 cents. And I bought maybe three or four, trying to listen to other people being like, no, it's okay. I, I refuse. You don't understand. I refuse to be left behind. I am accumulating everything, everywhere, all at once. If you haven't seen that movie, it's incredible. I mean, really go watch it. It's absolutely incredible. Anyway, right. So... Buenos Aires is going to be setting up their own uh, validator nodes in uh, Buenos Aires in 2023. They say that they're doing it mainly to understand the space, uh, but y you know, you you and I both know why why anybody would be setting up nodes like that. And also, uh, yeah, so right i'm i'm completely exhausted I, I i don't get it but i but but, it, but it's it's the same for everything i told friends to get into dividend stocks years ago when i was not in when, like when crypto wasn't even you know on my radar because i saw these people talk about hey it took 15 years 15 years to make enough passive income to pay my rent 
for, and I travel all the time. I don't work anymore. And I was like, I don't mind doing that for 15 years. Telling friends to get into crypto super, super early. No body listened. It took about four or five years for the first friends to start listening when they saw prices kept on actually going up. But the other 100 people, nobody listened. Told people to get into art. No body listened. It took, I think, one friend four or five years to also start buying his first art pieces as well. Anyway, that's the TMI rant news. I knew I was going to rant. That's so crazy. I could feel it. I didn't know which article it was going to be, but I knew it was going to happen. All right. Let's move on. As always, a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, GBU Wally, Manny Cryptos, Crypto Gambino, Bobo Mode, How's Life Austin, Auspicious Agile and Blockchain, Jamie Saad, Blockchain Simplified, and let's move on, Empire Queen, Roman Geba, Bitcoin, Ben, Arachno Dave, Tony Ambrosi, The Dealer's Den, Captain Something in the Z-Way, Lay, Mobarazi, VB Nerd 21, Miguel Grolay, Lauren De Silva, Quoted Biddy, Troy Allgood, Space Case, Need a Miracle, Pat Ternoster, Navarro Williams, Utopia 569, Moonman High, XRP, Martin Stoyer, Nostromo, John Sarson, The Anima Reader, Bibliophobia, Todd Mullis, Adam Grasic, Wise Night Owl, 242 to the World, Bankroll Network, Crypto Artist, Cole D, 3D, Setsuna, Richie Rich III, Paxis, Nick Mangialavori, Jim Garner, Jeremy Fox, Minting Coins, Yes to Crypto, Body McBoatface, Anytime Fitness, Monks Corner Staff, Bake Me a Cake, Tigger, Macho Nisa, On Crypto with Lionel, and Crayola Michelle, U R L. Thank you all very, very much for your continued support throughout the last couple of years. It's been years, everybody. Can you believe it? It doesn't make any sense. I've had this channel for years. Thank you to everyone who continuously, every single day, who leaves a like. Thank you to everyone who leaves a comment or comments. I try to answer all of them. I can't. It's, it's, it's a lot, which I thank you for. Uh, but thank you. I see your nice comments. I see a lot of your mean comments as well. Uh, take that energy to another channel. That'd be great, actually, if you could take all your negative energy comments and push them somewhere else, because uh, it's my channel. I don't know what else to tell you. If you want to, I mean, there there are channels that will exclusively give you doo-doo coins. They will give you as much garbage as you need. You can find them. I'm just, you know. Uh, thank you to everyone who, uh, you know, supports the channel in their own way. <clears throat> it's still here listening. I appreciate it more than you could begin to imagine. At the moment, Bitcoin is currently down by 0.25%, like I told you over the last day. It's down, but it's not really down. Like, down in crypto is like 28%, so this is like, oh, okay. Things are not that bad. Ethereum's currently down by 1%. It is at 1,880 US dollars. I would assume if we get the right economic, not job loss, earnings, whatever news, uh, we should be seeing a movement in the market either sometime today or the uh, almost said or the morrow. And I mean like an, a movement upward, not an actual downward movement. There doesn't seem to be hyper negative sentiment within any market right now. I think we're literally just waiting for uh, if we need to see if we should be afraid in a month and a half's time of the Federal uh, Reserve's movements of uh, interest rates moving higher. Uh, Dogecoin is up by 6%. Shiba Inu is up by 3%. They're both up. Dogecoin is up by 11% in the last seven days. Shiba Inu is up by 27%. Uh, I think it was just general sentiment that moved the coins price up like that. It was very, very weird. It shot up by like, was it 30, 40% yesterday? Um, We'll see as time goes on. I know that there's a lot going on with Shiba Inu. I, I think this is why we're seeing a 27% a rise. Uh, apparently, the creator keeps teasing that there's a whole bunch of new things dropping. Apparently, the Bone Coin is also getting quite huge. They have their own decentralized exchange. I think they're making their own NFT platform. They're making their own stable coin. It's coin burns happening all the time for Shiba Inu. Uh, the project's being taken a lot more seriously. Uh, what have you. Anything buck the trend? Ethereum Classic is up by 8% in the last seven days. Anything else? Monero is up by 2.4%. 4% in the last uh, day as well, which is nice to see for a coin. Filecoin is up by 2% in the last day. Ave is up by 3.2% in the last day as well. 
Chillis is up by 38% in the last week. Yeah, we'll see what the rest of the week brings us. I'm expecting good things, but, you know, I also try not to hold my breath because the cryptocurrency space makes zero sense. Zero with five capital Zs because it just, it, it just, it should be making a lot more sense, but it does not. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be on this weird rock. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for liking, commenting, subscribing, and or listening. There we go. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.